so disgusting. She want me to go in there and be fired up. How dare you? Uh, uh. Girl, you tired. I don't f- with you. You honestly can't even bother me with your life. If you have a beef for me, you can say it to me. This is typical Kenya. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my exotic life. Some squad in the building. Thank you for getting me to over 100 subscribers now. Um, I'm going to keep doing it. Like I keep saying, just, you know, throw a little hoodie on, through some braids in my hair because I want my hair to get a little crinkly. But it's not about me today. It's about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, I want to know what y'all think about this bolo stripper situation. I want to know what y'all think about Portia um, and Tanya and Toya. They're supposed to, you know, had a little twirly-whirly with, you know, old bolo, big bolo. So I want to know what y'all think about that. Um, I put a little bit of clips together so y'all can see the, for the people who didn't see it yet. Um, you'll get a good idea of what happened. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted because they be trying to copyright you and shit on here. But um, I want y'all to see what y'all didn't see. And if y'all didn't see it, then y'all should go see the whole episode. Because um, it was definitely the best episode of the season. Some I think Kenya on Instagram said that. It was like the best season of the franchise, and that's definitely a lie. I mean, the best episode, excuse me, of the franchise, and that's definitely a lie. Kenya is very bored, and you're going to see how bored she is. Um, She wants to find out who had sex with Bolo so bad. And there's people who, well, Tanya, she's in a relationship. Toya, she's going through a divorce, and Portia's single. So it's just like you doing all of this, and I'm pretty sure Tanya ain't had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, it didn't have nothing to do with Kenya. If you wanted some dick, Kenya, from Bolo, you should have just, you know, paid for it, asked for it, you know, whatever like that. Don't be hating on Portia. It's always she hating on Portia. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Like I said in my prior video. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to be back to y'all at the end of the video to um, let y'all know some other things that I think. And thank you for comments, you know, subscribing, liking, watching, all that good shit. Should we hide or something? Yeah, because she sees ass. Come here, come here, come here, come here. What are you doing? Oh, we don't know. Get back, get back. Oh, come back, come back. Come on, girl. Y'all need to hide all that, but don't, don't. Go back, go back. That hell is going on. Get it right. <laughs> it's going on. Ladies, legs and oh, hips. Oh, and oh my God. Get in position. You have entered the dungeon. Hush. Mistress has informed me to tell you, 50 Cent, that you must put this piece inside of the slit Stop. that is inside of your underwear. These are Mistress's orders. Yes, Patron. Thank you. Pineapple juice. Mm. Mistress. Yes. <laughs> I am super happy that Candy chose Bolo. I have definitely seen him online. I definitely follow him. And I'm ready to see him live in person. That is designer. Come closer. Oh, my God. Get a look. Yes, you see this? yes Bolo, with the fake Chanel outfit on. You like fashion, but it's not authentic. Oh, sh**. Who would guys to turn off the cameras for a little while so we can actually have fun. Yes! yes. We can't really have fun. There's cameras everywhere. I don't give a about those cameras. <laughs> Y'all cut? Yeah. I will get in real trouble. <laughs> It was people all over the place. They definitely enjoyed their night. Six a.m. I was up, went downstairs. Hey, this be down here. That's you ain't smell it for me. Fun night with the girls. I heard about you doing the most. What I did about? Listen, it was a bachelorette party. I don't know nothing about all that. I just, I was under the authority. Yeah. So, um, a bolo with a big penis <laughs> leaving said residence at 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Wow. Who 
was with Paula because I went to sleep before everybody. You know I have waited my entire life to have a baby. And for you to make these comments, like I could be faking a pregnancy test. And then when you saw me pregnant. All right, I didn't even see Kenya. Look at. It was like, why? I'm pregnant. Like, can you just be happy for me? And whatever happened in the past, we could have started over then. But it's like, how can I ever like this woman? She doesn't care for me at all. When we were not friends, I didn't care about your feelings. It was just to hurt you. When you said that you were pregnant, I'm like, child, please, can you ain't pregnant? That was awful. but. I wasn't in the place where I'm at now. The place where I'm at now, it's like, hey, me looking you dead in your eyes. I apologize for anything I've ever said about you bad that has hurt you. OK, well, I appreciate that. And I owe you an apology for putting you in the room that I put you in and treating you the way that I did. Will you accept my apology? I appreciate you having enough respect and caring to ask me that stuff. Absolutely, I will. I'm just tired of fighting. Bring in Miss Williams. She says she's not doing it. Is she really not showing up? Portia says that she pleads the fifth. My other room. Yes. So what is she implying? She never really said directly. Don't go to my room. I, I, it was yeah, not I was there. like, it's not in that direction. And I'm looking. But that is what I got. Okay. I got her trying to say you, her, and Bolo. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> like I said, Kenya is bored. She's bored. Who has this much time? Like, you need dick. You need to go get some dick. Let, can we call somebody over for Kenya to get some dick? Like, period. Candy, can you call somebody from the, bring somebody from the dungeon out for Kenya? Take, you know, go over to Moore Mansion with, with Kenya, please. Get, you know, the nanny, take Brooklyn, and you get some dick, because damn, you is so hard up Portia ass. Now, Latoya's supposed to be a little friend and all that, and you all like, oh, yeah, and Latoya this and Latoya that, and you're going to try to put her in her little the, the court side, I mean, the poolside court room, and start asking her all these dumb ass questions like it's your business. Like, whatever these girls want to do with they WAP, that's what they want to do with it. Like, if you wanted to eat some coochie, if you wanted to, you know, see some dick or whatever, suck some dick, get some dick, you should have been involved. But do y'all think that Bravo is, like, going a little low now? Like, with all the sex, sexual, like, everybody asses was out. That's, I showed that for a reason. Everybody running away with their asses out and all that. And um, Bolo doing his little dance, you know, with his dick out. How do y'all feel about that? Like, you know, sex sells, but it wasn't like that, I don't think, too much back in the day. Like, with Bravo. Like, we, I, I know we had little sex scenes or, like, little um, stripper scenes or whatever, but it wasn't so graphic. Like, this was graphic to me. To, nipples was out, even though it was covered. But it was just, like, real graphic. Like, y'all reaching because y'all don't have the queen, Nene, on the show. And I feel like y'all reaching right now. Like, y'all really reaching for straws at this point. Y'all grasping for air to keep this. Because um, what's the next? What's Is this the last episode? Because what's happening next? We, we got... Kenya and Marlo made up in this episode. We got the stripper gate in this episode. I thought that was going to be two whole different episodes. Kenya and her apologizing and all that. Kenya and Marlo. But y'all put all of that in one episode? Like, it just, it's just not making sense. So I just want to know what's going to happen next next um, episode. Is it, is it going to be keep talking about who fucked Bola? Like, or what happened with Bola? Or is this the last episode? But thank you all. I love you all for coming and um, watching me and listening to me. And um, on, even on Instagram, I'm, I'm thankful for the people who, when I post things, have something to say, um, have some insight, even if it's not what I want you to say or what I think. Because, you know, opinions are yours. Like, you, everybody have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to put that out there if you want to put that out there. I'm always down for a debate. If y'all wanna come on here and collab, um, we can collab, we can go live and collab, and I'm always gonna have something to say. So yeah, I'm about to go to sleep, I'm tired, and um, I love you all again. Thank you for watching me, I-G-A-S-I-M dot H-A-R-U-N, Twitter, 
A S I M H A R U N underscore. Um, I am messy on there a little bit. I just wanna, you know, I just say my opinion and what I feel. Whatever's up here, I write it. I write it out. I'm gonna give it, give it out to y'all because there's a lot of things I've been holding back, holding that. I'm gonna let it all out. So thank you again. Bye. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Some squad in the building. <laughs>